Hmm. Hey guys. Uh, welcome to another episode of Game News. What I'm gonna do is I'm not gonna turn it into just game news. I'm just gonna do it into nerd news because I have a lot of news. Um, now I don't have everything pulled up like I did last time, mostly because it's twelve. It's twelve seventeen where I am. It's pretty late. Uh, trying to adjust that. There we go. Oof. Now, as you can see, we have the Nintendo Direct here. This is the Nintendo Direct from, uh, yesterday. Technically yesterday, but... Yeah, this was filmed on the 17th of February. This is very nice. We're not gonna watch it. It's about 50 minutes long. Instead, we're just gonna go over some of the news and all that now. Some of the biggest news for especially Super Smash Brothers fans is that a new character was added. Two new characters, in fact. We got Pyra and Mithra from the Xenoblade Chronicles 2. Now, this caught me completely off guard because I was expecting either Ryu, Ryu Hirabusa, or Rayman. But no, we got Pyra and Mithra instead. And yet, this is a two-in-one character, as you can see. Pyra is number 79, and Mithra is number 80. Now, this is amazing. I absolutely love the how they look in the game. And I'm so glad that Xenoblade finally got another addition, I guess. Like, another thing to add to their story and all that. Like, as you can see here, there are pictures on the official... Smash Brothers website of them. Uh, they even got Rex in here. Rex is, from what we saw in the trailer, a part of the uh, final Smash, I'm pretty sure. Now, they also got other things on here, like the announcement of Splatoon 3. Now, this game, it's very nice and all that, but the sad thing about it is it won't be able to come out until... Does it say the date on here? Duh, nope. Well, it says the the date right here. It won't come out until next year, 2022. But a lot of Splatoon fans and a lot of Nintendo fans are happy this was coming. There's also a new Monster Hunter game called Monster Hunter Rise that will be coming to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, it's filled with a crap ton of monsters. Um, there's a new Mario Golf game called Mario Golf Super Rush, which is a very interesting take. I honestly... This looks really cool. This looks like a really good game. Now, we also have uh, an RPG from Square Enix. Now, I don't remember what this game is called... Uh, it said it's it's got a working title. I think it was called Salt Iron. Uh, I don't remember, but yeah, I wanted to do a live stream of uh, the Nintendo Direct and me reacting to it like right away, but that just wasn't able to happen today. Uh, mostly because we had f guests over, and I honestly wasn't feeling I wasn't in the best place for it. So, if you want to see me do live streams in the future, for sure, yeah, I will 100% do that. Uh, I'm also trying to keep this under 10 minutes, so let's keep going. Uh, we have a new Legend of Zelda remake of Legend of uh, the Legend of Zelda Skyward Sword, which was the last game right before Breath of the Wild. Now, this game, I have to say, looks pretty good for a remake. Um, new games that are going to be coming to the Switch that aren't Nintendo related like Super Sm like uh uh like Raya and Mithra or Splatoon 3 are games like Fall Guys. Fall Guys are coming to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, uh Outer Wilds is coming over. Two uh murder detective games are coming over. Uh, we have uh what games are they? Detective or Famicom Detective Club The Mission uh, the the oh, fuck. I don't know. I don't know what it says. 
the missing hair, her, and then the girl who stands behind the thing. All right, and uh, I'm I'm sorry. And then we over here we have Samurai Warriors, which that looks like a really cool game. They got a remastered of Legend of Mana uh, that is coming over to the Nintendo Switch. Uh, we also got games like Travis Touchdown coming back uh, with No More Heroes, I think is what it's called. I think it's called No More Heroes 3. Yeah, No More Heroes 3. August 27th is when it comes out. Which, honestly, I really want to get this game. It is so cool looking. We also got games like uh, Neon White, which is where you play as an assassin in heaven to kill demons that are in heaven which I think is a pretty cool concept and now for the DC superhero fans we got DC superhero girls uh, they're coming over with their new game um, what is their new game called? Teen Power and that's gonna be on June 4th and then we also got some news on Plants vs. Zombies Battle for Neighbor Neighborville now this is something that I'm in, that I think will be very interesting. I honestly want to play Plants vs Zombies Battle for Neighborville, and getting that for the Switch, I honestly think would be very cool. Now we also got a uh, a new version of Metopia with a whole bunch of new stuff added. You can have a horse as your companion. You could have so many more like customizations to your to your Mies and I. Uh, that's just amazing to me. So I definitely need to get my job and just like start buying stuff like crazy. Um, now we also have some Super Mario themed items that are coming to Animal Crossing. Uh, if you want to check those out, I'll leave a link in the video. Um, yeah, I'll leave a link to the video, this video specifically. We also got a Star Wars game, which I think is amazing. Star Wars Hunters. This is a really cool thing. Here, let me actually kind of look it up. Star, whoops, whoops. Star, Star Wars Hunters for the Switch. Now, this is a cool looking game. It's very nice. You see, this is a cutscene and all that. Um, we also got another game called. What is it called? I don't know. It's a very goofy dodgeball looking game. Yeah, Knockout City. It's coming out May. May 21st this year, which I think is really cool. We also got another game called The World's End Club, which is made by the same people who made uh, Dong Ron, Dong Ron Rampa. I think that's how you say it. Uh, we got a Hades game coming out. We have uh, the Ninja Gaiden uh, Legendary game. So this has all three of the Ninja Gaiden games put into it. It's a master collection, and honestly, that's another game that I really, really want. And then they also announced that there's going to be DLC for uh, Hyrule Warriors, which is another game that I also really want to play. They also announced some... Uh, oh, sorry. Some cool, like, in-real-life items that you can get. You can get... Uh, Oh yeah, you can get Apex Legends on the Switch now. It's very nice. Uh, I don't want to watch that. I'll I'll leave a link to this Nintendo Direct in the video. Um, but yeah, they also got a Nintendo Switch Pro controller based off of Monster Hunter Rise Edition, and then a Monster Hunter Deluxe. Uh, uh, what's it called? Uh, Joy-Cons and Switch port, I think. Um, they also had... Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Hardware. They had they had a new thing for The Legend of Zelda con nunchucks. Or not, not nunchucks. Uh, Joy-Cons. I wonder if I could find it. Here, hold on. Legend... Uh, whoops. The Legend of Zelda... Uh, Joy-Cons. And... 
yeah, see here there. I'll move this over so that way you guys can see a better view. This is the new Joy-Cons. As you can see, the one on the right, or this one right here, is based off of Link's Shield. Oh yeah, here's a better representation. This one's based off of Link's Shield, the Hyrule Shield. And the right one is based off of the Master Sword, which is a very nice touch. And to, here, let's go to something else real quick. If we go to the Nintendo shop, the Nintendo Amiibo shop specifically, uh, we can go down here. Let me try to fix the camera. Whoopsie. Uh, let's see. Yeah, right here. The Terry Beauregard uh, Amiibo and the, where is it? I lost it. And the Banjo-Kazooie Amiibo will be coming out on March... Sometime in March. Yeah, March 26, right here. Uh, oh, you guys can't see it that well. Yeah, see, here's the Banjo-Kazooie one, and here's the Terry one. It's very nice. These are very nice pop figures. I mean, not pop figures. I'm sorry. Amiibos. It is midnight. I need to go to bed.